have loved you once. But now you're just too damn senile to face the truth. <laughs> Cheryl! Harold is one of the most disturbing psychological horror franchises of all time. Konami's trailblazing Silent Hill series debuted for the Sony PlayStation in 1999. Throughout the 90s, countless horror games saw release, from Parasite Eve to Dino Crisis, all the way to the commercial juggernaut that is Resident Evil, it's easy to get lost in the shuffle. Silent Hill, though, it leaves a lasting impression, for better or for worse. As the opening indicates, a mysterious figure sends Harry Mason and his daughter Cheryl off-road. When Harry awakens, he finds his passenger door open and his daughter missing. He begins to search the town and comes to the realization that the foggy streets of Silent Hill are completely abandoned. Suddenly darkness cloaks this? over the town and Harry finds himself What's barricaded in an alley with a crucified corpse and hideous knife wielding monsters. With no way out, Harry has no choice but to simply die. After this nightmare sequence concludes, the game truly begins. While looking for your lost daughter, you'll come across numerous items to help you along the way. A portable radio found in the cafe transmits static whenever a monster lurks near. A shotgun stashed in the bathroom stall and later on a hunting rifle proved to be necessary weapons that pack the extra punch. There are also numerous melee weapons to use, such as steel pipes, axes, and even a special rock drill you get for completing the game a certain way. These weapons come in handy for warding off hairless dogs, capping demonic school children, picking off monstrous pterodactyls, or slashing up zombie nurses. Thrown into the fray are a number of boss battles. You'll battle a lizard-like creature straight out of a fairy tale, an overgrown larva which through the miracle of metamorphosis grows into an overgrown moth, and a few others that gave away too much of the game's story to even be shown. The game's cumbersome controls, while decent enough, don't always work in the player's favor. Harry Mason is not a bald space marine, so don't expect to be running and gunning swarms of different enemies. Silent Hill is more about evading monsters than it is slaughtering them. Unlike Resident Evil, Silent Hill does not use a fixed camera or pre-rendered backgrounds. The camera occasionally obscures the enemy, leaving you shooting your gun towards the camera itself or into nothingness off screen. The process of running, stopping, and turning is anything but fluid. Thankfully though, this does not cripple the game, it just shows its age a bit. Scattered throughout Silent Hill are different items. Bullets in the classroom? Check. Shotgun shells in the sewer? You better believe it! Whenever your health reaches orange or red, it's time to gobble down some health drinks or use a medical kit. Silent Hill uses notepads to save progress. Simply approach a notepad and save your game to pick up where you left off last time. It's easy to get lost in Silent Hill once you quite literally hit the end of the road. Maps are essential in finding your way around town. A map will automatically mark which doors are locked, which rooms are unvisited, and other areas of interest. The mother of God! Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. What about my daughter? Did you see her? Perhaps the strongest aspect of Silent Hill is the enigmatic story. The search for Cheryl unravel the town's and its people's darkest mysteries. One such person pivotal to the plot is Dahlia Gillespie, the leader of a religious cult in Silent Hill. Dahlia gives hints to Harry on how to stop the town from transforming into its hellish dark side. The town is being devoured by darkness. She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. As you progress through the game, the town will shift from regular Silent Hill, which is anything but normal, 
to the alternate Silent Hill, which is nothing short of a complete nightmare. In the normal school, a cat is stuck inside of a locker. In the alternate school, it's not just the gated floors and dilapidated walls that have changed. The room layout is similar and the thumping sound returns. But there's nothing inside. Might as well leave the... The room. Foreshadowing later horrors Harry Mason must overcome, pictures hung on the wall later come to fruition in the alternate world. Have I been here before? The alternate world of Silent Hill is perhaps one of the most unsettling game environments ever devised. The game's story manifests itself in the unknown, instilling a level of fear that few games could even come close to. The environment reflects the story in that several of the game's creatures and reoccurring elements, such as the creepy wheelchairs, are there for reasons relevant to the torturous nightmare of a young girl named Alyssa, whom suffered a fate worse than death itself. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. A young and disturbed nurse named Lisa Garland has a direct connection with Alyssa's tragedy as does Dr. Kaufman, the director of the medical staff at the hospital. A police officer from a nearby town named Sybil Bennett is probably the only normal person in the game aside from Harry. She acts as Harry's accomplice, running into Harry several times throughout his search to give further insight on the bizarre happenings in the town. Hmm. She's at the school. Puzzle solving is integral in completing the game. Some puzzles are a matter of trial and error, others may ask you to think outside the box. A handful are simply common sense. In the school, for example, you'll come across a chemical bottle in the laboratory. A statue of a hand grabs onto a medallion needed to access another area. Using the chemical on the hand disintegrates the statue, giving you the item under its clutch. Later in the game, carelessly forgetting to lock a door before exiting a room is one fatal misstep. Silent Hill relies heavily on locating keys to progress to different areas. Keys aren't always easily accessible, however. The Zodiac sign puzzle follows a pattern of seemingly random numbers. That is, until you notice the numbers pertain to the amount of limbs each sign possesses. It's a clever twist that causes the player to overthink how to approach a relatively simple task. Conversely is the perplexing piano puzzle, where you must decipher a poem about birds and correlate it with playing proper notes on a piano. While time-consuming, figuring out a difficult puzzle is rewarding. PlayStation 1's graphical limitations are obvious, yet the corroded allure of the dark and rustic atmosphere accommodate the dated visuals. The voice acting leaves a little bit to be desired, and the controls have indeed aged. Visually though, it's still terrifying. Silent Hill's widespread critical acclaim and cult following led to a 2006 movie adaption based on the original with elements of the second and third games. In 2009, ten years after the original, a reimagining was released for the Nintendo Wii. When all is said and done, Silent Hill is a game you'll not soon forget. And incredible.